So as you can probably tell from the title of the video, this is going to be a review on the Canon FT, not the FTB, I wish it was. Let's get the technical out of the way first. So this camera was introduced in March of 1966. So that makes it, what, 51 years old? It came with a 50 millimeter 1.8 or 1.4 or a 58 millimeter 1.2. I don't know if that was a typo on Wikipedia. That's a weird size. Those are the kit lenses that it came with. It has a cloth focal plane shutter. The shutter goes from one second to one one thousandth of a second, which one one thousandth is great. You can really knock stuff out in the sunlight with that. It's also got a bulb setting so you can do long exposure and I believe the, the flash sync is 1 1 60th of a second which is not that fast. I usually like to shoot my flash around 125, 250 but you know it is what it is. I don't think I'll ever use a flash with this camera so that's not really an issue for me. Um, it does have the quick load system. I'm not sure if it was introduced in this camera but it's got the same quick load film system as the Canonette. So if you're familiar shooting with a Canonette, it's got, you know, this guy right here. I don't know if you can see that. I'll uh, zoom in and take a closer look. But that makes film loading very easy because there's some other cameras I have where I have thought I, I thought I shot the entire roll and I didn't shoot one picture because the film advance didn't take it. So the quick load system is awesome. It's got a pin light meter inside. It's just kind of like the you have to get it in the circle in the middle. When you're above it, it's you're overexposed. When you're below the circle, it's underexposed. You know, it's good enough for me. I don't really, you know, I don't rely on the meter that much, but when I have to, it's good. It's good enough. And it also works with all FD lenses. That's all I have right now. I had a 50 millimeter. What were they, FT? I think they were the screw mount lenses were FT. All the FD lenses are adaptable to it. So I have a 28 millimeter and then I have a 50 millimeter lens, but I usually just keep the 28 on at all times. Um, and the production ended on this camera in 1972 after the FTB was released. So that's kind of like its predecessor. The FTB, it just had a couple little extra things. I don't think much changed other than the battery check looks a little different. I had an FTB, but the shutter was off on it. I couldn't shoot anything below one, uh, one, one twenty-fifth of a second. So it was kind of useless. I just gave it away. At the beginning, you saw the latest roll that I shot on this camera. It was a Lomography 800 speed. Some of the shots were still left from Pennsylvania. I forgot that they were even on here. I was very happy when I developed that roll. That's kind of one problem you have when you shoot, you know, six different cameras cameras at one time but I also wanted to you know just kind of throw a variety in here maybe some pictures that I've already showed you on the vlog let's take a look these are some of my favorite shots shot on the Canon FT
I just wanna wrap this video up with kind of like my personal thoughts on the camera. It's a solid SLR. It's kind of, it's turned into my favorite camera. I was predominantly a Nikon shooter, but at the moment I don't have any Nikons that I'm like totally in love with that are kind of fully mechanical. You know, if the battery dies on this, it's okay because it still works. The other, the other Nikons I have, they don't do that. This thing, I know, even if the battery's dead, the only thing that's gonna happen uh, is the light meter won't work, and that is not that big of a problem because I shoot Tri-X all the time at 1600, so I know, you know, my mind just knows where to go with that. Definitely very basic, very simple. It's It's got kind of a weird design to it that I've grown to I guess love, yeah, I've grown to love it. To turn the light meter on, you just have to click this lock over and push that and the light meter's on. I tend to forget to turn it off, so I kill batteries. I go through batteries very, very fast with this, which isn't a problem because they're very cheap. You can get, you know, 20 of them for 10 bucks or something like that from China, as long as you don't mind waiting. I've just like really grown to love this camera. It's got a good weight to it. I always look on eBay for you know, different size lenses, and they're always super cheap. 40 bucks for a 50 millimeter lens is not a bad deal. You can probably even get them cheaper than that. And I also was looking up the bodies on eBay, and at this at this time, they're going anywhere from like $10 to 50, you know? So you can't really beat that. It's such a good camera. If you're, if you're looking to get started, or one of your family members has one of these, and they're passing it down to you, it is, it's a great camera to learn with or just shoot with every day. So final thoughts on this whole thing. Just love this camera. I'm really looking forward to getting, I wanna get an FTB again, and I would, I would like to try out some FT lenses. I know they're pretty, uh, they're sought after for DSLR videography. I know a lot of people like to use those lenses because they got like a buttery smooth focus pull and stuff like that. I've only ever had one FT lens, so. Yeah, if you have any questions or comments about this camera or thoughts or you use it too, let me know. Leave me a comment down below. That's gonna be it for this video. Kind of short, kind of sweet. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Leave me a comment. Let me know what's up. It's good talking to you guys. And I will see you Sunday.